Oh man, yeah, this door is just being a real issue here. These workers need to constantly wait for it to be open. Now, I might have to rethink that and put in like a staff door, I think. Maybe. In fact, well, I don't know, because a staff door is just like, well, there's no lock on it. So if the prisoners get loose, they can just go through the staff door and be home free. So I think it's just a necessary evil that we have to keep this thing open. The problem is, though, when they want to move something from storage, they just come down here and they try and use this main large jail door. So that's a bit awkward. What I think I'll probably do then is, in fact, build a wall across here and put the jail door here. Because that means they won't have to go through the jail door every time they want to get something from storage. So wall goes in there. And I will put down a wall section there as well. But then once that's complete, I will uh, change it to jail door. Okay, so in goes the wall. Perfect. And once the wall's complete, make it a jail door. Now, this guy's the only guy outside, so hopefully he'll be the one that picks up the door and tries to put it in. And that means, once that goes in, I can lock this open. So that's just door mode locked open. Oh, no! Oh, oh, no! Guys, guys, metal detectors, please. Sips and Rivian are trying to smuggle in some knives. Let's see what these guys are packing. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Contraband. What is that? It's like it's like red wine. Oh, I didn't I didn't know Sips. Well, uh, yeah, I do actually know Sips is a bit of a red a wine connoisseur. So yeah, I think he must have smuggled in like a bottle of Chardonnay, a 1922 bottle of Chardonnay, from uh, from yeah, from way back when. Meanwhile, the janitor is keeping up his work, mopping up the floor. Good job. I'll mop, mop those tables too. Well, he really does keep everything clean, doesn't he? That's the janitor was probably the best buy I've made so far this prison. Oh, I, I knew it. He had a rake. And lighter. Ooh. Oh, that was close. This guy might have started a fire. I think we caught... We really did, like, catch catch a bullet there. Okay, so now they're clean, and they've been banged up in their cells. Now, they might be taken down to solitary in a bit. But for the time being, I think what we need is CCTV cameras up and around this prison, because at the moment, we can't see what's going on anywhere. And that's a bit of a worry. Right, so let's have a think. What do we need now? We've got a shower room. That works. Oh, no, wait. It's not It's not even called a shower, so it doesn't work yet. So let's just drag a square here, and kablamo. We have a shower. Requirements, shower head. Well, there are shower heads in there, so it is now a shower. That means tomorrow these guys will be able to take a shower and get nice and clean. Now, we're, we're running out of cash for some reason. I think it's... Oh, because we keep buying stuff. That's probably the walls and the jail door there. Right, so that means these guys now, they, can, they, they, they have to come out here to get deliveries... I'm going to remove this area from deliveries because that shouldn't be deliveries anymore. So let's go objects, sorry, rooms, deliveries. Where's deliveries? There it is. Now if I right click this, it should deselect this as being delivery. There we go. Perfect. Now I'll just make this area down here deliveries as well. So there's a nice big area for deliveries and garbage. And I'm going to put down some pavement as well so that they think this, this bit's indoors because, well, it pretty much should be. So let's see. Materials, paving stone, and just drag a nice square out here. There we go. Now, meanwhile, our guests are moving out of the canteen. Looks like they've all had a nice slap-up meal. And they're going to go back to their cells. Now, why were these guys... Pa oh, wow. Looks like somebody sleeps with their hands above the covers, eh? Oh. You, get, you, you catch a death of cold like that, Sips. You should really, you should really uh, cover up. T's having a wee. Let's have a look. Oh, no, it's a poop. He's having a dino poop. Oh, yeah. Doesn't doesn't Nazi look comfortable in there? Rivian is looking really down and out. Right, but our power situation is looking really good. I mean, look at that. We, we're hardly using, like, three bars, and there are seven bars on the power system itself. So I think we're good for future-proofing our prison power-wise. The janitor is going around sweeping up, and he seems to be keeping up on all the dirty flooring, so that's good. Now, let's look at our to-do list, actually. We've read the CEO's letter, so we can delete that. Seems to give me that every time the game updates. Your prison's closed. We're not getting any more prisoners. We don't have a holding cell, but we don't really need one. So that's okay. Now, administration center. Unlock finance and hire an accountant. Well, that's the next thing to do, isn't it? Now, we can hire an accountant. No, we can't hire an accountant yet. But we can hire a psychologist. And we have the moolah to do that as well. So we'll plonk him down right there. Now, I want... Oh, insufficient funds. No, he should have gone in. There he is. There he is. So how much... Oh, right. Right now. Now we can go to the reports section and look up needs. 
Now everything seems okay so far. Recreation is a bit of a worry and so is hygiene but hygiene is understandable because we didn't have a shower for the longest time and recreation well they can just go into the common room and just have fun in there. So what I think I'll need to do is buy some TVs. So let's go to the grants menu, look at the new grants and see if there's anything that relates to recreation and having fun. Now bookworm, some of the prisoners like to read and that keeps them happy so that's that's an important one we'll accept that. Now is there anything about TVs? Health and well-being? Um, that's important, and we should we should actually get a medical ward because we'll we'll need it pretty soon. If, especially if these guys keep smuggling rakes and stuff around. Imagine like a rake in a fight. Oh man, that would really kind of hurt. Getting a rake shoved up at your zoo, especially the sharp end, like the rake end. Oh man, that, how would you get it out? I, I don't want to think about that. Owie, owie, a sad day. A massacre, prison. Could we get metal detectors? No, we don't. We don't want any more because I think that that. That means we need to get six metal detectors, and that's really expensive. Both from a power standpoint, and from metal detectors. Metal detectors aren't cheap themselves. Bacon is out, exercise is in. Inmate population is growing, not in numbers, but in wealth size. You should tackle this problem. How do we do that? It doesn't say how we complete that. Water Wonderland, build another... That requires you to build another water pump. And we don't need one of those yet, so we'll just hold off on that. Visitation, we haven't got a visitation room yet, but we shouldn't need one for a while. So we'll just wait with that. Smelly socks. Oh, and these all relate to oh mod install. We can we can accept that because we've done that. And these are just milestones. 20 inmates, 50 inmates, 100 and 200 inmates. Okay, so Oh, we should get the walls have eyes, because if we get CCTV cameras up, that will kill the fog of war problem that we have. So we'll accept that too. Oh wow, now look, we've got thirty-seven thousand dollars. That's amazing. That's so much money for us to play with. Now, I think we can sack some of these workers because, well, they don't have much of a job to do anymore. So we'll just get rid of you guys. Off you go. And you too. And probably one more, I think. One more worker. Out the door. Off you go, pal. So that gives us four workers. Actually, no, we've got a worker down there. We'll get rid of one more, actually, I think. Because we don't need that many at all, really. And that means we can afford to buy. Now, we should be able to get... A, 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 let's check the bureaucracy menu a sec. Now, oh, oh, finance is in progress, so we can't actually hire a uh, an accountant yet. But in 10 seconds, we can hire a groundskeeper. Now, we don't really need a garden because we don't have any outdoor areas apart from the yard. And the yard looks to be in tip-top shape, so we don't need to hire him yet. Now, what else do we need to get? Now, oh, we should hire... We unlocks deployment. Now, deployment's quite a key thing to research, so we'll click on that. Now, deployment allows you to assign guards to the sectors of your prison. And you can create patrols. So that means we can send them to the different areas when different things are happening. So when it's lunchtime, we can send the guards to the canteen, obviously. When it's shower time, obviously they want to be in the shower, having fun with the other guys, dropping soap, picking it up, all that madness. Uh, legal. Well, we don't need. A, we don't really need any legal. Currently serves no purpose. Okay, well, we'll, we'll ignore the legal section right now. Wow, that's so expensive as well. Health is a key one as well, but that's going to be a long time coming because, well, we need to get finance first. Right, so that's closed. Now, why is um? Oh, wait, we need something to um. We need we need a guy, don't we? Let's look at this. We need a we need a we need a chief of security. To um. To learn deployment. So what we're gonna have to do is hire one of these dudes, and I think they need an office as well, don't they? So we'll just plunk him in one of these. Now, where are you, chief of security? Here you go, chief. There we go, and he should go in there. Now we're gonna run out of we're gonna run out of offices at this rate, so let's take a look. We're gonna need an office for the accountant. We're gonna need an office for No, we just need one more office for the accountant. Right, so let's build some foundations and get a final office in place. So let's see, an office has to be four by four. So that should be about right because it won't create a wall there because it's right next to it. There we go. Now the workers will come out here and build that, and then we can put in the office, the desk, the desk, the chair, and the filing cabinet, and that will be where our accountant puts down her books and researches and, and and works out how to get us all, and works out how we can make the most out of our prison, squeeze out the most from the money that we get from the government. Okay, we need to open the door for these guys. Just right click on that. Oh, there we go, guys. There you go. Wow! Now look at all these lights in the storage compartment. I don't know why they're there, because, well, well, I, I, I have no idea why they're there. It's weird. 
Maybe it's because we built doors and um, and walls, and, and now the lights can't go where the walls are, so they just don't put them anywhere. Meanwhile, these guys, well, we've got so many workmen just hanging around. I guess, I guess this is a two-man job, but still, it feels like kind of a bit of a waste of manpower. Meanwhile, the guards in the yard, for no reason, because, well, there's nothing going on. All the prisoners seem to be sleeping happily. Now, let's check reports and see what their needs are. Uh-oh. Now, hygiene is getting pretty critical, but that's okay, because next morning, all these guys can go out and take a shower, and they should be okay. Let's check the regime, actually, see when they should be going for their shower. Right, so they go for a shower as soon as they wake up. But let's give them an extra hour to shower, just in case. There we go. So they shower, free time, eat, yard time, free time, eat, sleep. Sounds like a perfect regime to me. But we'll speed up the time because while they're sleeping, nothing happens. So, bookworm. We need three bookshelves, and the best place to put them, I think, is in the common room. So let's go to objects. Bookshelves. Plonk these along the side of the common room. Oh yeah, perfect. Just the ticket. Just the job. Now we'll put four in because, well, I hope our guys are pretty avid book readers. Also, we're going to want a pool table. I'm not sure if the prisoners actually use these, but, well, I hope they do. So we'll put one there. And we'll put TVs along the other wall. And that's perfect. Now, I think TVs work by just, well, the prisoners just look in front of them and just use them one by one. So we'll put in, I think, four TVs. And that should be plenty of entertainment for these guys to just while away their time with. Now, the workers are moving nice and quick because we've accelerated time. And that will also mean that we research things a lot quicker. So let's see how bureaucracy is going. Oh, yeah, perfect. So in five seconds, four, three, two, one, we can put down an accountant. See staff, accountant. Uh, her office isn't ready yet, though, actually. So we'll have to make these, these, this office here workable. So we'll go to objects. We'll put down a staff door at the bottom there. And obviously, this office will need a desk. Office desk, right there. A chair, right there. And of course, a filing cabinet up in the corner. And as soon as the Wally workers get up here and put those down, that should complete the office and we can get the accountant in. And she can get cooking the books and making sure our prison is nice and legal. All right, so what's the next step? Time is ticking away. Our office is almost complete. As soon as this goes in, we can hire. Actually, we have to designate, we'll have to designate this area as office as well. That's a key, key thing to do. Office. There we go. Perfect. Now the chair's in, the filing cabinet, and the desk. And that means we can go straight down here. And oh, oh wait, there's a light that needs to be hooked up to power. So we'll get some cable across from over there. There we go. And now we'll get the accountant, plonk her in. And hey, presto. Oh, yeah, we can see how much money we're making now. 200 extra cash a day. That's pretty pitiful, actually. So what we might need to do, once we unlock the work section from bureaucracy. Let's see what that is. Prison labor. Oh, it's already been unlocked. What we'll have to do now is put in a laundromat so that the workers, so that our prisoners can go to the laundromat and clean their clothes. Oh no, oh no, the the, uh, the water's leaking out of the shower. We need to put in some extra drains. No problem. Just plonk those there and there and that should catch the excess, the excess water. What are these guys doing? Why are they running out of the shower? What's the deal here? Why are they not taking their clothes off either? That's terrible. Oh wait, there's no there's no cameras in the showers. Oh no. They, these guys could be getting up to anything in there. Oh man, imagine all the weird things that they're doing in the shower. Oh hello, now we can see. Okay, that's not so weird at all. Now why aren't these guys having a shower? Recreation, I want rec- Okay, so, so T is going nuts because he wants recreation. Well, let's check the schedule. Because, well, well- Great, because right now is free time, so you can do exactly what you like. Wait, in five minutes, rather, it's free time. So let's see. There we go, free time. Okay, so where's he going to go? He needs recreation, so he's going back to his cell. That sucks. Why are you going back to your cell? If you want recreation, I'll tell you what. What we're going to do is, this is super expensive, but I think it's required, because we're going to need to put TVs in these guys' rooms. Oh, wait, no, are we? Hang on a sec. Okay, he's gone to the yard now. Is that recreation? Okay, he's going to... What's he going to do? What? Do some recreation, dude. Do some recreation. Let's pause it and see what his needs are. If you hover over him, I think it shows... Isn't it supposed to show you his needs? Search prisoner, normal security. No, there's no needs tab. Okay. Well, what's he doing then? He's just running around the yard looking for something to do. He, is he, does he, doesn't he want to lift weights? Doesn't he want to call his family? Come on, dude. 
Meanwhile, Lewis is on the on the phone. I'm, I'm sure he's he's calling Hannah now, saying, "Oh, Hannah, I'm in jail. Help, get me out, please." Right, but a key concern for us, I think, is getting CCTV in here because look, we can't see what is going on in our prison at all, and that's a serious worry. We need to get some cameras in so we can see exactly what these guys are up to and see what their needs are as well. Now let's get down to reports actually and see what the needs are specifically. Okay, so recreation is somewhat critical now. Hygiene is down to zero because, well, they had a nice little shower. But why is their recreation so low? Now, one way to fix this is to put TVs in their rooms. Now, it's a bit of a luxury, but, well, it's a required luxury, I think. So, let's see. TVs, and we'll plonk these in their rooms. Put one there, there. Now, these guys should be able to watch Jeremy Kyle while they're banged up for the night. Now, I hope they turn them off before it gets too late, actually, because I can't have these guys up all night watching... Watching Jeremy Kyle. So, there we go. Wow, look at all these TVs, man. This is a massive expense. But I think in the long run, it's worth it. Because prison happiness is priority. If these guys riot, well, they can start a fire. They can kill workers. They can kill other prisoners. It's a real mess. It's a situation that you never want to be in. You don't want it to spiral out of control like that. So, wait, what's this guy doing? It's free time. And Lewis is just sitting in here. Oh, well, he wants comfort. So, he's sitting on a bench. Well, that makes sense, I suppose. He needs sleep, he needs food, and he needs clothing. So we need a laundromat. Kind of bad. Now, where are we going to put the laundromat? I think we're going to have to convert one of these cells into just like a corridor. So that we can get a laundromat. I'm going to convert this cell right here into a corridor. So that these prisoners can go to a laundromat. Okay, so let's just build the foundations for a laundromat right here. So if I just build it like this. And then like this. That should create one nice little building on the edge there. Then we'll go into objects. We'll delete the cell door from here. Dismantle. And we'll make this area not a cell. So rooms. And right click. And that should delete it from being a cell. We'll also delete this door. So we'll go into materials. And we'll bulldoze the door. Demolish walls. Demolish that wall please. And then we'll turn this into like a little mini corridor. That leads to the laundromat room. So these guys are busy at work. Building the laundromat room. Great stuff. Thanks for the foundations, dudes. And meanwhile, the prisoners are having a nice little lunch, courtesy of our Master Chef Pierre. Oh, you know I love to serve the prisoners. Oh, it is the highlight of my day to make sure that the scumbags of the world and the prison are kept well fed. But you know what? I we, I we in the soup, and I poo, I poo in the stew. Ho 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 ho! Oh, Pierre, you're you're such a dirty man. Okay. So, all right, the metal detectors aren't going off. No red no red lights, I see. So everyone's going into the yard now because it's yard time. So call your family, guys. Exercise on the bench. Have fun. Now, why aren't these guys having fun? Garden outdoor area. Job queued. What's his job? Oh, no, that wasn't actually focused on the prisoner. Right, so his needs are none. Lewis has needs, though. Jones, no needs. Mackay, no needs. T has needs. Oh, he needs his bowels checked by the looks. So let's check reports. Everything's good. Oh, wow. You know what, guys? I don't want to say this because, well, touch wood. It looks like our prison is actually going really well. You can see here the exercise is going down because these guys are all just in the yard, having a good time, beep bobbity beep booping. It's not, dis it's not quite Disco Inferno, but this is definitely a good, happy time that they're having in the yard. And it looks like everything is going to be A-OK. -okay. Now, one of the key things, though, is clothing. I don't want that to get critical, so I need to make sure that our laundromat goes in. Now, I'm going to delete the walls from here. What I'll do is I'll put in a door, but I'll lock it open. So I'll put in a large jail door here, but I will lock it open. And then I will designate that area as laundromat. Let's see in rooms. Here we are, laundry. Great. Oh, guys, this is so exciting. The laundromat's going in, and it looks like we're actually keeping on top of our prisoners' needs. As soon as they, we can get some workers into the clothing. Oh, oh, what's going on here? There we go. Oh, it's fixed itself. Okay, great. So we'll set this as... A laundromat, laundry room, there we go. And we'll put in, oh, they need, obviously they need some um, some machinery for the laundromat. Now I'm running out of cash. No, I'm not, I've got still got 30 grand and I'm still making 200 a day. Now, it looks like I need to buy prisoner uniforms because I don't have a laundromat. So, now they're all, the comfort's going down, that's great. So, deployment, oh, assign staff to areas of your prison, oh, perfect. Right, so... Objects. Now, what is required for a laundromat? It needs a laundry machine and a laundry basket. Okay, so we'll put laundry machines. I'm going to put a couple at the top there. 
And the laundry basket. Now, where's the laundry basket? Is that in here somewhere? I would have thought it would be down the bottom. There it is, laundry basket. And we'll put a couple of those down the bottom here as well. And there we go. I don't know how this works, because I think we have to assign specific prisoners to specific areas. But the laundry is definitely going in. So we need to put something in the regime about these guys doing laundry. And I think a couple of hours is perfect. So let's see, regime. And I think, ooh. If we cut out one of their sleeping, one of their eating hours, we can replace that and one of the free time hours with work hour. There we go. Perfect. Oh, these things need power as well, actually. We need to get some power over here. So let's go to utilities. Bring over some power cable. There we go. And hook that baby up. Oh, and obviously, of course, the washing machine needs water. It's just like a washing machine in real life. So we'll bring a large pipe along here. And feed off of that some small pipes. Down they go. And bring it across. Perfect. Right, now I think that's a perfect place. Oh, here they go. To their cells. It's sleep time, guys. Have a nice day. They've got TVs in their rooms. This is a really luxury institute. So... That's been it for this episode of Prison Architect. Now we're in Alpha 10, and we've got the whole of the Yogscast in here, pretty much. Every single one of our members, every single one of our inmates, is from Yogscast, and that's great. That's a great position to be in. So I've been Stjin, and this has been Prison Architect Alpha 10. Check it out on Steam. It's still an alpha, but you can play it early. Hit like and favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time for more Prison Architect. Take care.